Brazil's official election campaign season started on Tuesday, and the Electoral Court has already ordered a politician to remove slanderous videos attacking workers, uh, the party candidate Lula Silva, from her social media accounts. Here is our correspondent in Brazil, Brian Mir, with more. Brazil's official election season is only two days old, and the new president of the Superior Electoral Court, Alexandre de Moraes, is already ordering candidates to pull down slanderous videos from their social media sites. Former human rights minister in the far-right Bolsonaro administration, Damara Alves, was ordered to pull down four videos today, which were doctored to make it look as if former President Lula had been distributing pamphlets to school children teaching them how to smoke crack. This is a typical tactic in the book of dirty tricks used by the Bolsonaro family's so-called digital militias, which they've learned through constant contact with Steve Bannon and other operatives on the international far right. They use Cambridge Analytical style big data tactics to target specific sectors of the voters, often evangelical Christians or evangelical Christian women, through social media chat apps like Telegram and WhatsApp with barrages of lies, basically associating the left with the devil, accusing the Workers' Party of wanting to transform all the children in the country into homosexuals and other things that almost sound like QAnon. Now, in 2021, the Superior Electoral Court ruled that indeed the Bolsonaro coalition had used illegal tactics on social media to win the 2018 presidential race. They didn't go so far as to cancel his candidacy and remove him from office. However, in the ruling, Alexandre de Moraes said that now they know how it's done, they know how it's financed, and they can quickly figure out who's putting these slanderous videos up. They're going to cancel the candidacies of people who try to do it in this election season and put people in jail, including the financiers. So this was a first step, pulling down the videos put up by Demar Alves. The question is, how far are they really going to go to protect Brazil's democratic institutions in this election season?